Hey guys, it's Jag. Welcome back to the arcade. Let's get back to just another game, A Link to the Past. And last time we beat most of the Tower of Hera. We ran all the way up to Troll Dorm, and just as we were making progress, we fell in the pit and reset everything. But so between episodes, I went and got at least one fairy. I ended up using one on the way up. But uh, most of these pots are intact, so we should be in a pretty good position to take them out this time. I hope. Alright. There really is not much to talk about this fight. You have literally seen all of the mechanics. So let's see how we pull this off. Not well. Oh, does he even do damage to you normally? Or does he just try to bounce you in the pit? Because if he just tries to bounce you in the pit, I could be a lot more aggressive. Nope, he does damage. Okay. Two hits. Alright. Dodge this hole because it goes all the way down. Three hits. Actually, surprised I got that one. Oh, he's coming for me now. No, 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 no! This is why this fight sucks so hard. Because it resets. Alright, and uh. One for the road. This one too. It resets every time you fall. This is seriously the most aggravating fight in the entire game. It, it fits because it's the most aggravating dungeon too. It's just sitting up here playing King of the Hill. That's all this is. Nope. Nope. Alright, I'll take it. Yeah, come here. Come over here. No. Don't. I hate this fight so much. If it didn't reset every time he fell off it would still be frustrating but you know the fact that his hit point is tiny Link can't swing his sword for shit there one I don't know why I'm bothering counting kinda like to know how many hits it does take but no don't dump me in there Get off me. Two. Great. Two hits and I'm nearly dead. Three. And all for nothing. All of it for nothing. And I even fell down in this pit. Great. Which means... Okay, I almost fell on torch. I seriously, seriously despise this place. And just enough hearts to top me off. There. No more hearts. All I have left are my fairy. Is my fairy. F it! F this fight!
The stupid fight with the stupid arena and the stupid rule that he can just bounce you for miles and straight off. Like, this? This is not even as far as he can bump you. I got nothing. Words fail me on how bad this fight is. I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. I might have discovered a strategy to help with this fight, but I cooled my head a little bit. I went and got another supply of fairies. Let's see if this works. Now in theory, if he's charging at you, back away and he should turn around. Game facts, you lied to me. Just a giant game of chicken. Oh man. Alright, so let's see how I can use this information now. You're stuck in a wall. Okay, alright, I think I get this now. Now all I have to do is not fall in a hole. But it does look like if he's charging at you and you back away from him, he he changes direction. Then you can hit the tail. We'll see how that works when he gets to his final phase, but right now I'm having a lot more success with this. ran myself off the cliff. Oh. Alright, he's getting much faster now. Oh. Okay, that pattern definitely helped. I nearly got knocked off. But he's dead. He's dead and he's never coming back. And we're finally done with this place. Holy crap. You won the Pendant of Wisdom. With this, you've collected all three pendants. Go now to the Lost Woods to get the Master Sword. You know what? We will go ahead and do that this episode. Uh, it feels so good to have the Tara, Tower of Hera done, gone, dusted, in the books, finito, other words that mean out of my life forever. I'm sure there will be other dungeons in the Dark World that I hate as much or more than the Tower of Hera, 
but right now I can't think of one of them. All right. To get to the Lost Woods where we want to be, to get... You guys are going to attack me. Nope, you're going to fly away. We want to go back down to Kakariko. Should be right around here. Uh, through, yeah, here we go. Let's go through Kakariko. Skirt the top edge here, and we will go through this passage on the very left, where there is a boulder blocking our progress. Or maybe there wasn't. Maybe that was the middle entrance where there's a boulder, but regardless, we want to go in here. There is the Lost Woods, and then there is the Lostest Woods. And we want to find our way to the Lostest Woods. And that thief wants to steal from me very much. You will find that there is... This is it! The Master Sword! No, this can't be it. Too bad. Yet, yeah, there are fake Master Swords throughout here. And we want to dodge the thieves and make our way in here. The deepest part of the Lost Woods. And there's the true Master Sword. Just in time for that guy to tune up for such a dramatic moment. Let's hurry and get this. Suddenly, Sahas Ralik contacts you telepathically. Link, it is extraordinary that you won the Master Sword that makes evil retreat. With this shining sword, I believe you can deflect the wizard's evil powers. The destiny of this land is in your hands. Please, Link. And that's it. You get the sword. But now, we have sword beams. As long as you are fully charged, you will throw a sword beam. And with that, we're going to call it an episode. Next time, I think that we're going to do a couple of things before we head for Hyrule Castle. And I'll see you guys then. Thanks for coming out and joining me today, and you guys have a great day. Later.